Hello everyone so in today's lecture we are going to discuss about Siemens PLC so Siemens is basically a german based company okay so around 28% of the industrial automation sector all over the world is captured by Siemens itself it has wide variety of products but for industrial uh, sectors mainly PLC systems TCS systems and HMI and drive systems are the major products of Siemens company right so here one terminology is step 7 step 7 is basically a standard package used for configuring and programming schematic programmable logic controllers so basically step 7 is one of the packages which provides us software as well as the hardware systems okay so siemens provides software as well as hardware system for programming or controlling in the field devices okay so what is basically step 7 we'll be looking here what is a step a step is basically a uh, siemens technical education program this was basically an education program which was introduced by siemens to teach people how uh, to configure plc's how to program their plc's and how to design hmis and all those things were taught in the siemens technical education program okay here if you observe there are four series of plc's available earlier there was s7 200 series also in the siemens 200 plc is almost obsoleted now okay so here majorly four series of plc's are available so s7 basically s means what again it is step 7 only and s7 300 s7 400 s7 1200 and s7 1500 are the major series of plc's under this there are num numerous cpus available see if you observe there are number of cpus available okay so each and every cpu is in advance to other okay so if you observe this uh, 312 313 and all this as we increase in the order here the 314 will obviously have more features as compared to s7 cpu 312 or 313 now if you talk about the networks okay so here the networks are basically there are four types of networks supported by pc means plc so here first is ppi network ppi is basically point to point interface okay so point to point means obviously it will have only two nodes so two nodes means what one will be for plc and another if you want to connect a computer system so that we can program our plc so obviously two nodes are used for this network so only two PL uh, plcs or one computer and another plc can be connected in this network so what is the length of the network here 2 to 3 meters and data transmission speed here is 9.6 kbps to 19.2 kbps is the maximum speed so speed is also very low now if you talk about multi-point interface multi-point interface basically has 32 nodes 32 nodes means what around 32 devices can be interconnected and all the 32 devices can share data between themselves and here the speed is 9.6 kbps to 187.5 kbps and the distance here is 15 to 16 meters okay so up to 15 to 16 meters this network can be established and efficient data transfer can take place okay so now profibus is basically another network and this is basically process filled bus okay so this is a bus in which multiple devices can be connected and here we are having 126 uh, nodes so that means 126 devices can be connected and they can share data them between themselves okay and here the speed again is 9.6 kbps to 12 mbps that means now see if we are increasing in the order uh, here if we are increasing in the order the speed is also increasing and the distance here is uh, 21,730 meter that means around 
ट्वेंटी टू किलोमीटर्स राइट सो दिस मच लार्ज नेटवर्क और वी कैन से अप टू अ लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस ऑल्सो वी कैन शेयर द डेटा इन दिस नेटवर्क सिस्टम सिमिलरली प्रॉफिनेट इज बेसिकली एन इथरनेट टाइप ऑफ नेटवर्क विच इज बेसिकली प्रोसेस फील्ड नेटवर्क इट हैज अराउंड वन जीरो टू फोर नोट्स दैट मीन्स दिस मेनी डिवाइसेज कैन बी इंटर कनेक्टेड इन दिस नेटवर्क and the speed is also the speed of internet here that is 10 to 100 mbps the all maximum speed is 100 mbps and the distance is worldwide obviously it is connected to the internet that means we can access it, access or control the devices through uh, anywhere in the world okay so here are the some full forms available so ppi is point to point interface मल्टी पॉइंट इंटरफेस एंड प्रोफेस फील्ड बस दैट इज प्रोफी बस प्रोफी बस इज बेसिकली प्रोसेस फील्ड बस एंड दे आर अगेन डिवाइडेड इन टू टू कैटेगरीज सो प्रोफी बस डी पी एंड प्रोफी बस पी ए सो प्रोफी बस डी पी इज बेसिकली डी सेंट्रलाइज पेरीफेरल नेटवर्क एंड प्रोफी बस पी ए इज बेसिकली प्रोसेस ऑटोमेशन बस प्रोफीनेट that is process filled network so already all these things we have discussed here now here if you observe we are having some network so if you observe here these are the green lines okay so these are the green lines basically showing the profi net network and if you observe here these are the pink lines these are basically what we can say these are the profi bus network generally green color uh, generally green color cable is available for profinet network see if you are observe here also this is ethernet network so ethernet network will only be using profinet okay so profinet is basically the green color uh, cable is available here this is profinet now we will be discussing about profibus dp and what is profibus pa we know that there are large number of instruments available inside the field right so see what we are doing a large number of cables are coming inside the control room so this is what basically increasing the cost of the hmm, cables right so suppose if what if we bring all these io modules to the field itself that means earlier this were connected near to the cpu this this is our cpu and these are the io modules so these io modules are actually connected to the uh, near to the cpu so they are basically local to this cpu at the moment right now suppose if you bring this io modules from this uh, cpu or we can say uh, from the control room to the field itself if you bring, remove it from here and uh bring it to the field then this will be remote to this cpu okay they are away from this cpu that means these are remote to the cpu these io modules are now been removed from here and are now placed inside the field and now th this will be remote to this cpu so uh, see if you observe here these are the remote ios which are now present inside the field okay so basically if you bring this io modules inside the uh, field itself then the distance between the instruments and the io modules will decrease that means io modules are now in the field and instruments are also in the field so that means the distance between the io modules and the uh, instruments had, has been decreased so the cost of cable has also been decreased and the complexity of connection has also been decreased okay so now we'll be requiring one single cable which will be sending this signal from io module to the cpu okay so the remote cpu or we can say the cpu which is connected in the control room that will be requiring only one single cable and the io modules all the signals all the I signals from the different instruments will be transferred from the field to the control room via single cable this is what we call as decentralized periphery okay so basically what we are doing is we are decentralizing the io modules from the control room basically 
we were earlier what we were doing doing we were centralizing the network that means each and every io signal from the field has to be transferred to the control wing control room so all these signals were going to the single point right now we'll be discussing about profibus pa right so profibus pa is basically process automation bus it requires afd what is the meaning of afd here is active field distributors this distributors see here if you observe these are connected to the profibus pa that means a process automation bus is here and these are connected in series see afd here again there is an afd here again there is afd here so we are basically having this afd in the network and we can connect instruments to this active field distributor so that the signal from this instruments will be transferred to this afd and this afd will transfer it to the network and then it will go to the cpu directly okay so this is what we call as profibus pa so thank you